Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, we're going to be creating slideshows uh, on our website. So the different slideshows we're gonna create, we're gonna create this basic sl slideshow where you just kind of go through and the images change, right? And we have the full screen slideshow, which covers the full screen, no matter how big or small you make the browser, it, it covers the the whole width and height of the browser. Uh, then we have the light box display, uh, and it puts your image in a light box when you click on it, and your slideshow is actually in a light box. Um, this is called a light box when the rest of your site becomes a bit darker, and your image pops out um, in the center. And you can click on any of these, and they'll open in the light box. All right, and then we have the thumbnail slideshow. So we just have uh, a few thumbnails here on the side and when you click through them the images change or you can click the um, the previous and next buttons uh, right here so as you can see you can get really creative with slideshows um, and add a lot of cool functionality to your website if you're a photographer I mean this is just ideal because you can create the most creative slideshows ever I mean you could have designs in the back of this and really make it interesting all right, so I'll go ahead and show you how I did each of those. I'm going to open up my Adobe Muse file here. And the first one we're going to go over is the basic slideshow, uh, which is this right here. And I'm actually going to delete it and I'm, uh, so we can start from, from scratch. <clears throat> Let me hide this layers panel here. Uh, so to add a basic slideshow, you just go to Object, Insert Widget, Slideshow, and then Basic. All right, and then you have this cursor here with the basic slideshow on it. Uh, you just place it on the site, and there it is. Now, uh, the, the first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna get uh, three images, and you can actually delete those. So you just click, uh, and then click again until you get these squares on the outer edges of the picture, and then you just hit the, the delete key on your keyboard. And the same again, you click on this image, then delete, and then delete. So you have a blank uh, slideshow here and then to add images you click on this blue arrow here and then here here are the slideshow options and then you just click on this folder and then you pick as many images as you want you can select multiple images by hitting uh, control or command uh, on your Mac or Windows PC on Mac it's command so um, yeah and I believe on PC yeah it's control so I'm going to select uh, my different images here and I'll select uh, six images and one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then click open. And now this slideshow is going to populate with, um, with those images. Now, if I preview this in the browser, I hit Command Shift E. Uh, I can see I have the slideshow here in the middle and I can go through them by hitting the previous and next buttons and there it is there's my slideshow and I can also make the slideshow a hundred percent full width so it covers the width of the browser and all I have to do is click on the slideshow um, and click again till we get the squares around it and then right up here is the full width tool um, this button right here and if I leave my mouse over it it says hundred percent width and all I do is click on it and it makes this slideshow 100% width. So if I do Command Shift E in the browser, uh, I now have this 100% width uh, slider or slideshow, excuse me. And you might have seen a similar design like this in many websites where they have kind of that slideshow banner. And uh, so you can do it very easily in, uh, in Muse. You know, have your menu appear, have a logo, and have some other design kind of near the bottom. All right, so now that we've created this slideshow, uh, I'm going to go over all the options, and they're pretty similar across all the other slideshows, so I won't spend too much time with the other ones. I'll just kind of go over all the options in this one. So if we click on the blue arrow right over here, uh, this blue circle with the arrow, uh, we have a few options. Um, we have here the new hero. Uh, we can fit content proportionally, proportionally, or we can fill frame proportionally. Uh, I recommend filling the frame proportionally. I mean, you can experiment with these and see which works best for you, but uh, the default settings work pretty well, so I just leave that as it is. And the same for the thumbnail. Um, 
for this one we don't have any thumbnails so we don't really uh, need to worry about that now uh, here for transition uh, we can set it to fade or we can set a horizontal transition or a vertical transition if I set it to horizontal and I preview this in the browser command shift E and I go to the next one it slides horizontally or we can do it uh, vertically if I hit command shift E and now the slides change vertically that's pretty cool alright and I can uh, change the transition speed I can make it slower I can make the slides change slower I can have it autoplay so that it plays every 3.5 seconds I'll change it to one so you can see how that works and then I can resume after three seconds so if I manually change the slides it can automatically resume after three seconds I can have the slideshow play once I can shuffle the images I can enable swipe on um, touch devices you know like iPads iPods uh, Android phones uh, different things like that uh, I can have a light box display on the images and I can do full screen or I can do free form thumbnails so actually just by creating uh, a basic slideshow you can actually create any of the other ones right from this option menu so if I do full screen I now have a full screen slideshow pretty cool and you can see it's going really slow because I set the slide transition speed to two seconds so it's taking two seconds for the slides to transition I want it a bit faster I'll set it to one now if I hit command shift E they switch a little bit faster but we'll set it back to 0.5 which was the default and that's a good speed because it's pretty quick and let's preview that one more time and there we go we have a nice quick moving slideshow all right so I just made the slideshow full screen and if I click uh, full screen again I now can revert back to my other one or to how I had it before and I just move these elements kind of here to the bottom if I hit command shift E there we go and I can also do uh, light box so if I click light box uh, now we have thumbnails right over here and I'm just gonna move all of these thumbnails kind of more to the right oh, here we go yeah just kind of drag those thumbnails and I'll put them right here so now when I click on an image it has this light box display so it kind of makes the rest of the background um, a little bit darker and the image pops up as a light box and I also have these thumbnails here all right and we can do the last one which is freeform thumbnails and all this does is that I now have thumbnails and when I click on them the image changes all right so uh, you know rather than just going into object insert widget slideshow uh, what I just basically did is created all these different types of slideshows uh, basic blank full screen light box thumbnails I did all of that just by changing the options in the layout all right and that's uh, you can do that all of that from the options panel all right so you might notice that uh, this these uh, buttons here kind of get in the way sometimes so you will have to move it uh, when you're styling your site um, you know depending on what you're working on sometimes you don't have to move it but uh, you do have the option to move it so you just select it you you select the first one then you hit command or shift excuse me and then you select the next element the next element and the next element so all of these are selected and I can move them anywhere I'd like so I'll just move it away from the uh, slideshow <clears throat> and now they're up here or I can put it on the slideshow. All right. And it's on the slideshow. And you can also uh, change the text of these, of the caption. Um, change, you know, the, the web font to something like this. Change the size. It's a little bit big, 18. Change the color. Let's make it, uh, let's try 24. Yeah, and you can, you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Here, I'll make it. Uh, I'll make this white, and the fill. I'll make it black. All right. And I can do the same with these. Um, 
you know, kind of change the font. Lobster, white, and change the fill. Oops. Make it to 18. Change the fill to black. And the same with these arrows. Um, lobster, white, 18. And change the fill to black. So all I'm doing here is just styling these buttons just to show you how much flexibility you have with all of this. Um, so let's make it bigger. Oops. And I can even add, uh, if you want to really kind of style this slideshow, you can add the these arrows here to the right and to the left. Maybe make it a little bit smaller there. And what's great is that music gives you guidelines so you know that these two are exactly aligned. And I'll just move them down a little bit. There we go. Now if I command shift E, I have uh, this slideshow here with these arrows. Uh, to get these arrows, let's say you have a full width slideshow. Uh, to get these arrows on the left and the right, uh, all you have to do is click on the, the arrow uh, element and pin it to the upper left. And the same with this one, pin it to the upper right. Okay, and that didn't, oh, I see. Yeah, so we have to kind of do that there. Yeah, there we go. So now we have those arrows on the button, and if you make it smaller or bigger, those arrows will always stay on the left and the right. All right, and you can change your captions and, you know, add uh, text in the captions here. So, you know, this this is an image. All right, hit Command Shift E. See when I get to this one, it says this is an image. All right, so um, right now we have it set to freeform thumbnails. If I just click this off in the layout, um, and I can go ahead and delete the thumbnails as well. All right. Now let's say you don't want any arrows or any, any captions. Um, you just click on the slideshow, click the options button, and here are the parts. You can have you know first, uh, last, previous, which is the arrow here, uh, next, uh, captions, you can take them off, and the counter, you can take that off. You can have thumbnails be included or not included. And so basically I can take all of these off and just have a slideshow that you can't really um, manually go through and it just changes by itself. All right, so that's pretty much it for the slideshow. Uh, you can see all the different options you have here, <clears throat> excuse me, here. And again, we created a full screen, a uh, light box and a thumbnail slideshow. And once again, you can, you can create your specific one by going into insert widget slideshow and picking any one of these but at the same time, you can do all of that from the options panel by selecting layout, either light box, full screen, freeform thumbnails. You can view thumbnails. You can take all the, the different parts on or off. You can style the different parts and really just create a very unique uh, slideshow that works for, uh, for your website. You can have uh, fade, horizontal, and vertical transitions and different autoplay, resume after, and you know have it play once and, and different things like that. So you have a, a lot of different options with your slideshow uh, to make for an amazing website. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.